is on the other end of this form. Disney, thank you. I'm Mike. I'm Kat. Colby. And he's Colby. And today we're reviewing Medal of Honor Warfighter. Warfighter. Thank you. Thank you, Gamerscape, for providing this lovely PC game for us. It's also available on the Xbox 360 and the PS3. So if you don't know what Gamersgate is, check it out. Link in the ender bar. It's actually a really good site. It's a lot like Steam, but you download games and you actually get points towards other games. So go check it out there. I can't believe how under the radar this game is. I remember in 2010 when Medal of Honor was a contender to beat Call of Duty. Now it's just no one even gives it. No yeah. one cares. EA was talking some shit. Thinking yes. Like, and oh, the look, next one, we did good here, oh. but the next one... And what a letdown. Well, not just a letdown. What a fucking shit show. It's a shit show for me. I can't really <clears throat> say that because someone else here likes it more. First of all, it's uninspiring. It's yeah. it's boring as shit. Everything I do in the game. The story isn't that good. It just seems like you've done it all before. Yeah, everything in the whole game has been done before and done much better. Well, that... the graphics are amazing. Visually, it's beautiful. Oh, it's not like it's like glitchy or anything like that. It does what it's supposed to do. When you have a game like Battlefield 3, why wouldn't you just play Battlefield 3? Exactly. Right. When, of yeah, it's not reinventing the wheel. It's well, just that's making another problem. wheel. Yeah. And there's nothing new in this. The, the, uh, everything about it is dull. They try to switch it up and you drive cars, you can control these, like, robots that can go in and take care of the enemies before you actually go into the building. It's kind of cool, you're like, oh, it's cool, but I'm gonna make a stand right now and say that I'm so sick of first-person sh shooters, like, military shooters, that I don't want to see another one. Like, this is it. This is drawing the line in the sand. I hate these games. I'm sick of them. And it's just kind of the same thing in different places. Like at here least, you're in Bosnia and Pakistan. Look at this. At Malia. least Call of Duty has a lot of money behind it. Yeah, but it's not like EA doesn't have money. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah more okay. To it but than I know that. that's that, just, there's they, a huge problem. Then they, why isn't it exciting? They need to make uh, more memorable characters. The characters in it just aren't the best. You can play as Stump or Preacher. Uh, Voodoo from the other games is in it, but you can just play as either of these characters, and you don't really feel attached to any of the characters well, in it. There's no part yeah. in the story where you're like, "Whoa, oh my god, I need to find out what happens next." The story oh. is poor, but not to be all negative. What they did add was uh, this new breach feature where you can choose. Yeah a shotgun or uh, an axe to break down the door. This doesn't give you any advantage though, just a visual little quick time that plays before you breach the so door. So ab absolutely useless. Absolutely useless. But what they did add is this, I think they really improved the driving in these games. But specifically there was this one espionage level and then you had to like hide in the car and park in certain places. It was like it was a little maze. I thought that was cool. So it's not like complete utter shit. It's just like so average, you just don't want it. Yeah. So it's, they basically like, took have... the driving from Battlefield 3 and put it in there. No. Well, well the way not... that you actually customize your gun is kind of fun. Because you looks see the cool. gun spin around and whatnot. But well, that's in a lot of games. That no, but you like... see, no, you, in the multiplayer, you see the gun like in your perspective, in first person perspective. You look at it, you zoom in, it's in well, your Who cares? Hands. I don't give a shit. This visually, it's interesting. I want to play a good game with something new in it. That's right. not this game. So what's your overall score, Jay? 4.5. Some of the good things about the game are it looks good. That's I got. That's all I got. That's all you got. It looks good. Go play the new tribes. It's free to play. If you want to play an online game, multiplayer, go play that. Don't even get Medal of Honor Warfighter. Okay, I would give it like a six. I enjoyed it more than he did. I didn't hate it. It is visually very beautiful, and for that, it kept me interested for a while. But then, as many first person shooters and that's always my complaint it just feels like the same stuff and in this one there just aren't any characters that i was really drawn to i'd rather go back and play some other game like like i said if you have battlefield 3 just play that some more i give it a 6.5 i mean yes it's just completely average but you know what it's still doing everything right that's that it's supposed to do but it's not like exceeding what it's you know it's not like really impressive so you enjoy you're it not, you're not gonna remember it in like i months. actually ha i had fun right uh, but it's just a, it's just a simple first person shooter they're all the same now right and the multiplayer yes you'll have these fun moments and you'll get a, like a nice little streak mm -hmm. going but it, it, you know we've all done it before and it's don't buy it but i'm hearing halo is just spectacular so when you have these games coming out that are just topple this save one, your money yeah don't even go near it like, Halo is apparently mind-blowing. I, I can't it's wait weird. for it. This is the end of the line for EA. What do they, they have to get out of it. They have to go away from, at least they have to go away from this genre of like, you know, these tier levels and all these guys with beards. 
running around shooting up the city. They need to take it somewhere completely different to make it interesting the for moon. me. The no. moon. Underwater. Imagine Bioshock. this. Imagine like the army had to go to space and they had actual like stuff on the moon already, but we didn't know about it. And there's yeah. like a terrorist attack up there. That's interesting. Yeah. Do something like Give that. Give us a good story. Yeah, do and then something some good. cool other extras. But then the people are like, I want it to be more real. No. I, want it to I don't want to drive around want some like flea market in Bangladesh. Please subscribe, subscribe, and like the video. Side note, it was my first time playing first person shooter on a computer. Wow, on a PC, that was, I got a little bit of carpal tunnel in my one hand. I had to make it. Because like you don't clock. give enough hand jobs. When are you gonna bang my dash? Doesn't get the highest marks. I would rather, you know, go back and play. Get her? Get her? Get her? Bites.